Hey guys, this is Jeff from Obedia, and today I'm going to talk to you about one of the cool new features in Cubase 7.5 related to recording and tracking. The feature I'm going to go over today is called Track Re-Record. It's pretty straightforward, but really useful, especially if you're doing lots and lots of tracking and overdubbing in a session. So this is how it works. First of all, as you activate re-record mode, you can either do it from the transport window, and for that you go over to the left side and click on this little button, which shows the name of whatever record mode you happen to be in at the moment. Typically, you'll have punch in, punch out selected. You can just change it to track re-record here, and you're done. You can also go to the transport drop-down and choose to turn it on here by simply clicking on the entry in the drop-down menu. Now, normally what I'd have to do is to hit undo, rewind the cursor to the beginning, and then hit record again. Now, this workflow is perfectly fine for many users, but learning to use the new track we record mode will definitely streamline your recording workflow. So I'll just go ahead and start a little sample recording. I'm going to use the asterisk on the number pad, which is a really useful keyboard shortcut. And also, as long as your track is record armed, you could just simply hit the record button as well. So I'll do a little take. Now, if I don't like what I recorded just then, with track re-record, all I have to do is simply hit the record button, and it erases what I did and starts me over, all in one shot. Once again, if I don't like that take, simply hit the asterisk key on the number pad to start recording again, and Cubase then starts to take over from the beginning. So this has been a quick overview of the new track re-record feature in Cubase 7.5. This is Jeff from Obedia. Thanks for stopping by.